firefighter suspended for a heroic act. The Atlanta Fire Department suspended Captain Daniel Dwyer for his actions while responding to this fire on Collier Drive. The department claims Dwyer broke safety protocol by entering the house alone to save a 95-year-old woman. Video obtained by the Atlanta Fire Union shows crews trying to rescue Sally Scrime back in June. She later died. Dwyer's four-day suspension without pay starts Thursday. Fired up. President Donald Trump wrapping up a packed rally tonight in Manchester, New Hampshire. Thousands of supporters heard him tout his record on the economy and attack Democrats on immigration. And all of these people want open borders. They want open borders. And we don't want open borders. We want very strong closed borders. Trump's rally comes on the eve of the New Hampshire primary. Democratic presidential candidates spent the day trying to win voters, too. Campaign spotlight, a Georgia college student is getting national attention for this exchange with presidential hopeful Joe Biden. The former vice president jokingly called her a, quote, lying dog face pony soldier at a rally in New Hampshire. I did feel like he gave a good answer. It was a little awkward being called a liar and a... Uh, a big um, town hall. Madison Moore asked Biden about his fourth place finish in the Iowa caucuses. The Mercer University student nodded yes when Biden asked her if she's ever been to a caucus. Then Moore admitted she had not. By the way, Biden's reference was a line from the John Wayne movie, Honcho. Driver's license settlement. People who move to Georgia from U.S. territories no longer need to take a written driving or cultural test to transfer a valid license. The new policy from the Department of Driver Services comes after a lawsuit from a man who moved to our state from Puerto Rico. Kenneth Caban Gonzalez was accused of giving the state phony documents to get his ID. 